Hello guys, my name is Dmitry Mrzhensky, you are watching Dev++ channel where we are talking about advanced web technologies. Not so long time ago I came across one tool which saved me literally a couple of weeks of GraphQL backend development and in this video I would like to share my findings with you. This tool is called Hasura, it is open source and trust me, it is amazing. Just check this out, here is a list of to-dos. We can sort it, we can access relations no, relation nodes and just have a look how much filtering options it has. And now attention, I didn't write any single line of code. Excited? Then don't go away because we're going to implement the same functionality right now. So our journey starts from official Hasura website, which is hasura.io. I will leave uh, the link in the video description. And there inside we have uh, documentation section and getting started. The one thing you have to keep in mind is that Hasura works only with PostgreSQL database. So I'm sorry, uh, MySQL and Mongo people, if you're still here, uh, let's have a look um, on this diagram. So Hasura sits between your database and already the client and Hasura engine maps your PostgreSQL tables to all the GraphQL endpoints. And in short, that's it. And how we can install this? There are a couple of ways. The first one with Heroku, there are no additional installation are required. Uh, and the second option as a Docker container. I will choose the second option and for this we need to install docker and if you don't have it installed you can download it from docker.com again the link i will leave in the video description next we will create a folder for our project let's open a terminal and i will navigate to folder playgrounds you can create your folder whenever you like actually I create a folder Hasura tutorial and navigate immediately into this folder. And then with command touch, I will create a docker compose file. Actually, I consider that you're familiar with docker, but if not, you can always check uh, and other tutorials for beginners where uh, people are explaining how docker works but you can do this afterwards for now. You can just repeat uh, what I'm doing. Okay, I want to open this folder in VS Code and now we have to configure our Docker Compose YAML. Actually, we can grab default config from Hasura Docs right here and it navigate us to GitHub repo and here let's go to Docker Compose folder and copy everything and pass it, passed into our config. Okay, and we are pretty much done. Just few words about what we have done here. Uh, well, we take Postgres 12 container, uh, mount DB uh, data into our file system. Uh, then we set password as, in, as environment variable. Then we take a Hasura image and expose port 8080, define dependency on our database and set uh, required environment variables. Let's now run and see the magic. So I run docker compose up minus D and now go to browser localhost 8080 and here's our GraphQL UI. I promised you that I didn't write any single line of code, so I will close uh, my Visual Studio code. As we have no data, data in our database so far, let's create a couple of tables. We have to go to Data tab and click button New Table. Now let's create users table. It should have, okay, uh, UID and this 
function will generate your ID automatically for me. Then I want to have full name. Yeah, full yeah, full name, why not? Uh, which will have a uh, type name, let's say. Uh, the same I want to have for tasks, so I will create um, table tasks where I want to have also UID field and then I want to have um, title here is also description and author ID which is foreign key and it points out to user ID. Okay, and the last step we have to create relation between these uh, two entities. So let's go to tab relations and Hasura already suggests us a relation. So let's add it. Hasura asks uh, how we want to name our uh, relation in GraphQL schema. Um, let's leave it as it is. So save and go to GraphQL. Let's create a user first. To do it, I will use mutation. I will add full name and nice user has been created. Uh, now let's um, let's create a task for him. Copy user UID. Let's do another muta mutation and let's immediately get back data of this task and also fetch the user like this. And unbelievable. Now let's remove mutation and have a look um, on queries. We can select a uh, task and then I ex in expanded section where there are a lot of options to filter it. And I want um, as example to fetch tasks where author ID is my user. I can do um, where user ID is equal our ID. And here we go. It works. As you can see, Hasura is a fantastic tool, at least for quick prototyping. I'm going to create a few more videos about this tool and actually I'm going to implement a um, small Angular application which uses this tool as a backend. And if you are interested, subscribe to my channel and write me in the comment what do you think about Hasura project. And that was it for today. I hope you learned something new and as always, thank you for your attention and see you in the future.